Hello dear children, welcome you all back to chemistry class. In our last class we have learned about the component nitrogen. We have understood about the discovery, composition, properties and utility of nitrogen gas. In today's class we are going to learn about the next important component of air that is oxygen. In the year 1772, a scientist named Carl Schiele, he is the scientist who first discovered oxygen gas. Later, in the year 1774, another scientist named Joseph Priestley, he did few experiments and through his experimental studies, he had discovered oxygen gas. Joseph Priestley is the first scientist who published his work of the discovery of oxygen gas. Later in the year 1789, we have already learned that the scientist named Anton Lavoisier, he is the scientist who named this gas as oxygen gas. We have also learned about the composition of oxygen gas. We know that about one fifth of the volume of air consists of oxygen gas. That is approximately 21 percentage of the atmosphere comprises of oxygen gas. Now let us see few of the properties of oxygen gas. Oxygen is colorless, odorless and it is tasteless. Now we have learned that nitrogen gas is as heavy as that of air. But in terms of density of oxygen gas, oxygen is slightly heavier compared to that of air. And in terms of solubility, we have learned that nitrogen gas is only very slightly soluble in water. But in case of oxygen gas, compared to nitrogen gas, it is slightly more soluble in water. Now, we know that nitrogen is a gas which is non-combustible and it is a non-supporter of combustion. But contradictory to that, in case of oxygen gas, Oxygen is non-combustible which means it does not burn by itself but it supports the process of burning or combustion. Oxygen gas same like nitrogen gas it is neutral in nature which means it is neither acidic nor it is basic in nature. Now in case of nitrogen we have learned that nitrogen is chemically unreactive but in case of oxygen gas oxygen is chemically reactive. So these are the few important properties of oxygen gas. Now let us see what is the use or utility of oxygen in the air. We have just learned that oxygen gas is very much essential for the process of burning. So the first important use of oxygen is that it is a supporter of combustion. So we know that oxygen is a supporter of combustion and therefore it is very much essential for the process of burning or combustion. Now let us see what is this combustion or burning. During the process of combustion, a chemical reaction takes place between the substances. Generally, this chemical reaction takes place in the presence of oxygen that is present in the atmosphere. So during this process, it generally produces gaseous products with the generation of heat and light energy. So since here the process of burning takes place in the presence of oxygen, we say that the process involves oxidation of substances. And during burning, products of oxidation are formed Products of oxidation are formed along with the liberation of heat and light energy. So now let us see an example of combustion. Let's take the case of a candle. For example, a burning candle is an example for combustion. Now candle, as you see, it is a combination of carbon and hydrogen. So it is a compound which is made up of carbon and hydrogen. So that is why we call that as a hydrocarbon. 
which means it is a combination of carbon and hydrogen. Now on burning the candle in the presence of oxygen gas, oxidation of carbon and hydrogen will take place and we get the products of oxidation. So the products of oxidation is carbon dioxide and water vapor. That is candle which is a hydrocarbon that is combination of carbon and hydrogen. When it burns in the presence of oxygen that is the process of oxidation is taking place. The products of oxidation formed are carbon dioxide and water vapor. So in this case energy is liberated in the form of heat and light. So during this process of burning energy is liberated in the form of heat and light whereas hydrocarbons react with oxygen that is process of oxidation takes place in order to form the products carbon dioxide and water vapor. So now we have learned about the first important utility of oxygen that is oxygen gas is essential for the process of burning or combustion. Now let us see the next important use of oxygen gas. The next important utility of oxygen gas is that Oxygen is very much essential for respiration of all living things. Now, what happens during the process of respiration? Let's see that now. We all know that energy is produced during respiration. Now, let us see what is the role of this oxygen in the production of energy. As you can see here, there is oxidation of food substances that take place during the process of respiration. That is food substance gets oxidized. That is this process of respiration involves oxidation of food substance. And this oxidation process will give rise to the products of oxidation. And the products of oxidation are carbon dioxide and water vapor. And energy in the form of heat is liberated during this process. So food that is nothing but in the form of glucose. Now glucose is a compound which is a combination of elements like carbon and hydrogen. So it is again a hydrocarbon. So food substance that is in the form of glucose which is a hydrocarbon that gets oxidized in order to form the products carbon dioxide and water vapor and heat energy is liberated during this process. So oxygen is very much essential for this process of respiration. Now we know that respiration involves breathing that is there is intake of oxygen during respiration and we give out carbon dioxide during this process of respiration. So oxygen gas is very much essential for the process of combustion and also for the process of respiration in all living things.